Well, my live stream died in the middle of opening Topps Chrome Hobby Boxes, so I figured I'd finish it off and make a video. I'm just going to finish off the whole case. So I've got two more Hobby Boxes and the rest of these packs. Then I'll show you all the hits we got, and we'll go from there. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you hit that like button. This is the quest to pull an orange. <sighs> and there's the autograph. And it's Quinn Priester. Hey, the autos have been... Uh, they've not been good, but I, I did get a banger already. And uh, I got a couple of okay ones. We need to do better. These last couple boxes, we got to do better. That's all there is to it. And I'm going to get an orange. Open a whole case, you got to get an orange, right? The prisms have been good. That's the first good refractor, though. Imanaga. The refractors have not been great. But the prisms have been good. I figure out of a whole case, you should get a couple of good prisms, a couple of good refractors. You know what? We're going to do a quick rip because we can. Here we go. We got, I mean, do we got a flipper? A couple of these boxes have had cards all flipped around, which is, which is weird, but actually they've had good stuff in the boxes. So we're going to roll with it. McClanahan refractor. There's a Mike Trout 89 flipping around weird. Oh, there's our orange. I knew it was going to be in this box. Big orange coming. Come on, baby. Make the case right here. Orange wave. Make the case. What kind of border we got? We got a blue border. Make the case. Be a rookie. Oh, no. Mm. That's not going to make the case. It's an Eloy Jimenez type of case. I didn't even bother soft sleeving that. What was I thinking? It's got particles all over it. Paper particles and God knows what else. Okay, Jimenez. Hopefully we get a regular orange too. We got two more boxes after this. We got a true gold, a gold wave that's got a big juicy print line. We got all kinds of stuff. I'll show you all the stuff. Evan Carter, huge stack of good rookies, which you would expect. So Jackson Merrill, lots of those. Raffaella have had some QC issues. Some stuff is very off center, but man, we've been pulling the Ellie's. That one's off center. Couple of Sheehan's Diaz purple. So this is all the numbered stuff. Actually, this is not numbered, but this is all the numbered stuff here. We'll go over all that at the end too. Hobby box. This is hobby box number 11. We're going to do all 12. Even though I got my orange, I, after I got the orange, I just, before I got the orange, I basically committed to opening up the whole case. And I think there's still time to save the case. I think a Mason Wynn refractor auto is... That's a pretty good hit. We did get a black, too, of a guy that, that I like. And the Radiating Rookies is uh, a decent one. Colton Kowser, batting average has slipped off a little bit. His stats have slipped since the beginning of the season. But he did hit a three-home run, three-run home run. And I think he's good. We got some more flippers. I, every one of the flip boxes has had something good, like I said. So maybe this one will too. I'm just going to kind of fly through them though. Mike Trout, all etch. It's another Jackson holiday. We got a lot of Jacksons. Diaz, Gunner, future stars. 
I'm gonna try to put together the sets. After opening the whole case, should have some sets to put together. Summertime in the park, Ellie. Mookie and a judge refractor, wow. We did get the judges coming out of here, so quite a few potential buybacks. It's good to see a refractor judge, that's a $40. That'll go a little ways. And Jose Fermin. The parallel autos. Sus. I am, I'm kind of running out of room. We'll just set him right there for now. Another Evan Carter. A lot of Evan Carters. I'm sure I missed some good rookies too. This is the last stack in this box. Come on, something good, something big, something. We already got that auto. We got to get something else, though. Numbered card. Is there a true orange? We got an all etch rookie rush in here. Riley Green Prism. Another negative. So this is the third negative out of this, this case. Don't really expect we'll get many more, if any. Jeff McNeil Refractors. Mason Wynn Rookie. I've gotten to that point, ripping that I don't even, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jordan Lawler, it's not a parallel either, but these are sweet. I think this is the third all at rookie rush in total. So a junior and a Lawler. Colton Kowser. Okay, what is this? Uh, Blue Wave Garcia. Mm. Machado Refractor. The last box in the case. Be nice to get one more big thing. I've gotten some big stuff. I'm not complaining. I would say this is probably an average, average case. Maybe slightly above average. You could let me know in the comments below what you think after it's all said and done when we go over all the hits here and talk about the MVP buybacks, talk about parallels, autos, combo. I think this, this last box is going to kind of make or break it in terms of Putting it over the edges of, was it a good case? Was it a decent case? I, I don't think it was a bad case. But the question is going to be, I, if there's one more big thing, it could push it to the point of good case. Otherwise, it's just going to be average. Oh, there are a bunch of cards flipped around in this one. This is very strange. Be centered. That's not too bad. Lots of law butts. Oh, there's so many of them. Seems like about a half a dozen. Yes, this is good. Ellie Prism. That's going to help. It's going to help a little bit. Don't know what to do with them. I'm running out of space here on the stage. Okay, that was good. We needed that. One, come on, keep it coming. Something huge, though. A Cheerio. Something huge. If we get one more Ellie parallel, then we got an Ellie case. Okay, this, this could be a Jackson Merrill or a Cheerio, possibly. No, 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 it's not. It's not another one. No, it can't be. It can't be. Nineteen ninety five. He was born in nineteen ninety five. 
And he's got rookie autos galore. Logan Porter. Thanks, Tops. 1995. You've got to be kidding me. That's a slap in the face. A 29 year old. <laughs> How about three of them in the same case, too? A vast autograph. There's so many autos in here. To get three Logan Porter rookie autos. Get real. Disappointed, to say the least. Goodness. I mean... Charlie Blackman, Magenta Speckle. That's got to be about it, right? And another glass now, parallel. Collation's been disgusting in this case. Really bad. Okay, let's check out the hits because there are some good ones. Here's my results from a whole case 2024 Topps Chrome Hobby Boxes. It's a classic case of the good, the bad, and the ugly. There were a lot of good rookies that came out of here. I mean, I got doubles, triples, quadruples of all the good rookies. So that's good. You open up a whole case, you should get you should get at least one or two or a few of the good rookies. We got a few buyback redemptions, two of the base, one refractor, so 40, 50, 60, 80 bucks worth of buybacks. No show haze though. That's kind of strange. I may have missed one along the way. I don't know. But you should at least get one of every card, if not enough to make multiple sets out of a whole case. I don't know why I'm not getting any any show haze whatsoever that's strange to me bunch of uh numbered parallels none of them good though out of this pile uh, we got three three negatives total we'll get to the good one but just just a just mm, nothing nothing really to show here the autographs mostly horrible autographs weston wilson this dude is a 30 year old rookie uh, <laughs> You know, just a bunch of base guys that mm, not collectible for mean to 199. But the Logan Porters, three Logan Porters in one case, dude. The checklist is over a hundred people. Why am I getting three Logan Cord Porters? Very bad uh, collation or whatever. I mean, that's horrible. This dude is. 29 years old that nobody knows about uh, come on i'm getting three of those so th that's that's really disappointing and the quality control on a lot of this stuff was really bad too a lot of stuff off centered got a stephen kwan gold but uh oh big old print line down the middle now yeah you can fill out a form on tops.com i'll be sending that back but that's a big hassle to have to go through that gold mike trout to 50 that's a good card real oc real thin on top like What's with the quality control? I thought we were trying to figure that out, Tops. Oh, yay. The orange was Aloy Jimenez. We got one orange out of the whole case, and it was an orange wave at that. 13 out of 25. Now to the good stuff. So a lot of that is the negative stuff. This is the good stuff. I like these rookie rushes. This is my favorite insert. Got two of those. You should get two per case. No big ones, though. Nestor Cortez, the Authentics Relic. That's That's really nothing. That's cool. I do like radiating rookies, and that's actually centered. So a nice centered Colton Cowser radiating rookies. I'll probably try to send that off. The biggest card of the whole thing, Mason Wynn to 499 rookie auto. That's a big card. And a nice Reese Olsen black to 10. I'm a Tigers fan. He's a really good pitcher. So I do like that. That's a that's a valuable quality hit. Couple of nice Ellies too. So negative Ellie and Prism Ellie, both very collectible cards. Um, cross my fingers with potentially grading those. This is the only good refractor I got out of the whole thing. Imanaga, no good rookie refractors, but a lot of good rookie prisms. Jackson Merrill, Colton Cowser, and Mason Wynn. So all in all, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably give that case maybe like a 6 out of 10. 
six and a half out of ten, something like that. When you when you take everything into account with the poor quality control, the poor rookie autos, the collation issues, there's a lot of issues with this case. Uh, they're not all like this. I've seen way better cases. So I, I think I'd give mine maybe a six and a half out of ten. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.